Hello everybody and welcome once again to a Forever Stranded Quick Tip. Today I'm going to have a look at the indexer. Now this was covered extremely well by Mech LSD in one of his episodes on Forever Stranded. Now I'm going to add a few little quirks to that. So let's have a look at what we've got over here. As you can see I've got an indexer and that's connected to a draw controller. And I've got two chests over here gold chest and a diamond chest. So at the moment if I put a transfer node onto this indexer here, it's what you have to do. So you shift right click it on that on the top and then it becomes on the top of it. I've also got in here a an indexer, a remote indexer, so we can actually see what we've got. In fact Got an, I've got a filter on here wireless, I want to go to that because I've got no filter on here at all. So what we're seeing is 52 pieces of paper and 64 sandstone. Now the reason we're seeing that is because this chest is empty, this chest is empty. This has got five, yes, five stacks of sandstone and you only see one stack's worth for any particular chest. And this has got 52 pieces of paper in it. Around the back, nothing there at all. Just empty, purely for demonstration purposes. Now, if I decide then I want to put some stuff into chests, you can filter it. So here we go and put a transfer filter. Now the transfer filter, the recipe for that, is basically as a, as a filter item with some redstone and a transfer pipe, and you get four of those. Now what you can do with these is quite interesting. So I put this down on here, for example, like that and it's now attached to this node. It's got no filter in it at the moment. So let's take a filter. Here I've got some prepared. Here I've got um, some with Pam's Harvest Craft in it and some another one with Pam's Harvest Craft in it. And here is one with lots of things in it. What I've actually got in this one here, if I open it up, I've actually put those two and an arrow in this filter. So you can put anything you like. And for example, I could put this string in here as well like that and then this will actually show you up as whatever's in this filter plus whatever's in fill plus all these items like that and then I can put this filter into this chest into this filter slot here on this transfer node now what we can do with the remote index so we can come along here we've got some stuff so look I've got five stacks of sandstone I can put those in and now they're going in one at a time very slow okay now we can speed that up let's come along here and put in the stack upgrade in here and come back over here and now you see that they're disappearing one stack at a time they're actually still disappearing fairly slowly so what you can also do is you can put in some speed upgrades in here like that now these do not help with retrieval they only help with depositing stuff putting stuff in so for instance Let's say I've got one sand. Let's put these all. These all of these are locked. Now this doesn't exist at the moment. There's no place for this. So let's put this into here again. So that went very fast down. And now you see it appeared up here as one sand, and we should find that in this chest here, which is where it does belong. If I then decide I want to put one into the storage drawer here, let's put it into the um, Second slot, I think that's the third slot. Yes, and then we put this into the into the index. Oh, the rest of these, they should, with a bit of luck, go into that same slot as we've just put it in. So now we've got 64 sand, and you'll see here we've got 63, and here we've got the one, and it didn't come into here. Now, so if we've been out on a tour and we want to put some more stuff in, I've got some more sand. Now this is full. I've got eight stacks in here. So if I then take some more sandstone and put some more sandstone in, it disappears fast. It doesn't go into here, of course, it goes into here, as you expect it to do. Now, quite often I'm still using this, and I've got, even though I've got a, a wireless card with an infinity, infinity booster, when I've been sort of dungeon, doing some dungeons or a desert temple, I don't want those to go into the ME system. And you could connect onto here. Well, I do upstairs. I've connected onto the 
draw controller, enemy storage bus. We'll have a look at that just before we finish, I think. And then everything I've got in the storage, you'll see in the storage bus as well. Now what happens if we go along here, for example, and put it into this compacting drawer, some ingots. You can see, we can see we've got no blocks of iron. We've got, how many have we got? It says nuggets, we've got no nuggets, and we've got three ingots. Now the indexer is telling us, if we right click this, we've got 27 nuggets, which makes sense, and three ingots of iron, but no blocks. Now, if we can put some blocks into here, You'll see we've now got eight blocks, 64 iron ingots and 64 nuggets, so we can take out 64 at a time. And you can shift click these, for example, like that. And I'm going to slowly, slowly get 64 nuggets in here. This bit you can't speed up, which is fine. So now, for example, I want to put this stuff over there. And let's put it in there and put some string in there as well. That's what I've been collecting from a sort of a little trip. They all disappear, hopefully. That will also disappear. It just takes a few, little bit longer sometimes. In fact, it might have already disappeared because I'm seeing four in here. And it's just a display bug. So let's have a look. Sure enough, we've got the string and the arrows in here. And here we've got other items. So we've got the 11 sandstone that wouldn't fit into the others, plus whatever we've got here. Now, if, however, I put, say, let's take these out of here, these two boots, the golden boots. Now we can't see them in the air index, they've disappeared altogether now. Let's put them into this chest. We still can't see them. And the reason for that is that anything in this chest is filtered out. So because it's not in the filter here, so those aren't in that filter, you can't see it. Put them back into here, go to the indexer, and sure enough, there they appear again. And I think that's everything about the indexer and its filters that you can do, that I know about anyway. So I think it's great you can connect up to the storage drawer controller and it puts some things into the drawers before it puts them into these other chests and you can filter these chests. So let's just have a quick look upstairs at what I've been, what I've got up there. to go through two steps because it's here. So here I've got my storage drawer controller here and on it I've got this ME storage bus. So everything in the ME storage bus is being seen by the controller and also that's being attached from the indexer here which you can just about see. Yep. Down through the transfer node pipe across all of these chests and in these chests I've got basically got filters on things. So this one for example is filtering Risturb Morph Spawners and so on and so forth until we get to the end here where i've got a large storage crate with everything else that ends up in here so if i want any special thing i don't really want to block up my me system with more items like that it's not very efficient for that so i use it like this so that's it for this particular quick tip i hope you enjoyed it until my next one bye for now